Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Nah, we're going to call that good, I think. So let me go ahead and start snipsy snippy. Now that is hooked into that exactly where it's supposed to be hooked at. We can go ahead and put this down here out of the way a little bit. There we go. Now that's where it's supposed to be. And all should be right with the world. I don't know if you guys got to see that at all. I hope you did. Now, like I said, there's it's close to right now there's there's the connection I just made so that is exactly where it's supposed to be so I'm not gonna worry about that too much anymore now there is another concern do this um, there is another concern on and I know a lot of you guys Bill's one of them uh, mentioned this early on and uh, uh, I do thank you for all the comments I get on stuff like this. Um, but it was also suggested that the 10, here it is right there. This 10, are we looking at that? This 10 uh, microfarad um, electrolytic capacitor might be part of the problem with the uh, AC part. Uh, I don't know that it is or isn't. Um, what I do know is we're going to replace it if I have one that I can replace it with. And I want to try to do this on this side because I don't really want very much to take this all apart again if I can get out of it. Uh, it's not the end of the world if I have to, but... Um, I, I just I just feel like it would be better if I don't have to do that. <laughs> uh, I suppose I could take this because it, the only thing that holds this on is the knob. I may do that. Let's do that and see. Um, some of this, by the way, some of this stuff you're not going to see because I'm going to edit this. And I did this last time with the, the bench close-ups and things like that. And I tried to edit them as much as possible. To, to keep these videos to a, you know, a reasonable time length. So, that's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this off and uh, go uh, take this apart and then bring you back. Now, right, we're back again. I'm trying to point this out to you. This is... You know, this one here is one end of the, uh, of the uh, electrolytic. I'm going to try to get it out first. We need to get this wire out of the way. So what we're going to do is sort of gently persuade it to go another way. So trying to get it out as gently as possible because these are solid wires that, that are used for hookup wires on this. And as such, they tend to break off just like the one did on the bottom there. That I had to repair. So now I think I can get that heated up there without too much problem. And what I'll do is put the um, the um, hemostats. I couldn't think of the name to the other end and pull get a, a pull down downwards on it. And that's what we'll try to do to get it out. Now that's hooked in there. Get my soldering iron in there. Let me. I need to get a little bit better lighting here. I'm trying to do this with you guys there. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, there we go. That was easy to do. 
Uh, I just hope it goes back as easy. So when you're going to see, let me turn it over here. Let me get this out of the way. I can't see it because of that. There you go. Now you can see it. You see that's loose. So we've got the other end now, and I don't know if there's any way at all possible to get in there to do that. You wasn't getting any of that, so that'll be cut out. Let's turn this over and see what we can find on the other side. Alright, now we can see this part here. Now there's a nice lead sticking up, and like I said, I can solder to that. Um, I probably would have better, better off just trying to solder to it to begin with instead of doing all this, but, you know, hindsight and all that. So I can snip that. I can see easy enough. I don't snip my fingers first. I'm going to put you guys out of the way and, and do this because it's going to require some sight, so... Alright, I'm going to bring you guys back over here. Now you, you're going to have to behave over here now because there's things going on over here, you know. Alright, see where you're at. Alright, get you back in the picture here. How's that? i zoom you in a little bit. How's that? Ah, uh, yeah, I knew that wasn't going to work. Let's just move that. That's the best way. I've got the uh, capacitor hooked in now, so let's go ahead and press the button. See what she does. Alright, well, ESR 5.6. Yeah, that's that's kind of high. 47.2 microfarad. This is a 10 microfarad. Uh, B loss is 6.9 percent. I'm gonna say that's a bad cap. Uh, not only because it's way, way out of uh, range, but uh, the SR, ESR is so high, and uh, I just think it's not a good one. So I don't know that that's got anything to do with what we're doing, but we're gonna, like I said, replace it. All right, there you got the uh, what I think is gonna be a replacement ESR 2.7. 10.3 on the uh, microfarad, that's pretty close. So I think what we're going to, and it's a 50 volt cap, so uh, you can see the, the size difference. It's even smaller than the, the one that was in there, so I think that's the one we're going to go with, and I'll bring you back for it in just a bit. Alright, back with you one more time. What I have here now is the new uh, capacitor in, and we're going to show you how I have it wired in. The uh, positive end goes right into the circuit board the same way as it came out. Let's see if I can't get you a little closer here. Alright, there you go. There's the, uh, like I said, the positive end goes into the circuit board. It's soldered in. This is the negative end. that used to go up here. Uh, but... It's just, that lead's just too short. I can't get a hold of it. Can't do anything with it. I tried a couple different things, but it didn't work. So what I did was to find out <clears throat> where that also connects to on the circuit board. Um, and it came over here to R14. Let's bring R14 a little closer and show you that. Here's R14 right there. And I checked it with the ohmmeter. This end is the same as this point over here, so this is where we soldered it to. And I just have a little connecting wire between them. And I did check the continuity between the uh, actual uh, lead of the capacitor and lead of the resistor. There is continuity there. So that should work just fine. There should be no problem at all with that. And uh, I think that's that should work out good. So, um, like I said, just a little altercation, alter, well, whatever. But uh, I can lay that back down like it was. So that's basically the same thing as it was. As long as the uh, electrical, electrical connection is the same, there should be any problem with it. 
this is a, a ground type of connection anyway. I'm not saying it's the ground, but it's it's a, a thick line on the uh, uh, schematic, and you can always tell by thick lines. They're usually common wires. So, anywho, that's connected now, and we have the lead fixed, and we're going to do some testing and just to see what it does. I don't expect it to do much different than it did before, to tell you the truth, because I really haven't done much. Uh, although this uh, resistor, or resistor, capacitor was bad, it was not that bad. I mean, it was not shorted, put it that way. So, All right, I'm going to turn you off and bring you back when I have this all back together and try it out again. All right, we have the uh, meter back together. Uh, I'm going to put it on AC ohms. And we're going to put it on a voltage range. Let's see, get this to the right range. I'm going to put it on 10 volts. That's a voltage range. I'm going to turn it on AC volts. And I have that done. Now we're going to turn it on. Hey, hey, hey. Looky there. I believe we have a winner. Let's see if we can zero it. Looky there. How about that? I would have never guessed that that would have fixed it. Obviously it did between the two things that I did. I don't know which one fixed it better, but <laughs> it did fix it. Uh, I'm going to double check the uh, ohms range just in case. So let's do that now. I not see any difference there. Let's turn it off and turn it on and see if it does exact acts the same way. It used to go over then come back. See if that still happens. Yep. Looky there. Now the big thing is does the uh, does the uh, leads cause it to peg the meter? What's it? What's what's the deal with the uh, ohms? Now we got those connected. And let's short these leads and see what happens. Looky there. Now let's hope we can uh, actually zero that that side. No, that's not. Oh, yeah, there it goes. How about that? There you go. Now, if that's not a winner, I don't know what it is. Let's find us a. Let's find us a resistor to check. All right, we have a. I think. Oh, it's 1.22. So that would be 1,200. I think. 1200 ohms, so let's put this on R times. R times 100 should be 1200. Should be should register 12 on the thing, right? Am I right on that? So that would be up in, in this area here. Let's do that. R times 10 times 100. All right, now give me the uh, leads. See what we get with this. Now this may not be a great resistor to check. I don't know. We'll have to try it and see. But Get it on there. There we go. Alright, it's measuring seven. Seven thousand? No, seven hundred? Yeah, seven hundred. Hmm, that's not exactly right. But again, it hasn't been calibrated. Uh, nothing's been done to it. Maybe some bad precision resistors. This is not why I bought this meter. I have many, 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 many meters that do a much better job of this than this. And this is primarily for AC volts for measuring, um, for aligning receivers. Uh, you know, you naturally want it to work as best as it will, but uh, it, the fact that it is working means a lot to me, anyway. So, I'm gonna, I'll am i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to measure that with the uh, digital multimeter, just for the heck of it. Oh yeah, we're measuring 1,336 ohms. So that's obviously not correct on the meter, but you know, again, the fact that it actually works now is a big plus to me. Those are just, uh, again, precision resistors in there that may be out of tolerance. Who knows? Could be a lot of different things. I do want to try the um, AC voltage to see where that's at while I'm here. If I can get this hooked up without too much problem. Alright, back with you again. I have the uh, area hooked up now to it. 
Um, don't have this on. I'm going to turn it on. And comes back down. There we go. There is a slight voltage on that. Um, let me take it apart. Make sure I get my zero for correct. Yeah, see so here. There's some AC voltage around this. Let's see if I can get this down. Yeah, I think that's, there's too much AC voltage straying around here. Let me turn this back or put this back on. Let's just go ahead and zero it from there. Right there. All right. Now we're on the 30 volt range, and we're going to take this up a little bit. And we have six volts on there right now. And let's go for 10 volts. Right there, 10 volts. And now 11.1 .1 is what's showing on the, uh, as you can see it in the background there. Again, it has not been calibrated. So that has to be done. It's not bad, bad now, really. 10 volts, 11 volts, that's not bad. Let's take it up a little bit more. 20 volts. Or get there on 20 volts. Close to 20. This says 20.4. Let's take this up a hair on that there. And like I said, that's that's close to 20 volts. Um, 20.8. It said 20.9. That's probably right on the money there. Goes up a little bit with the uh, line voltage. That's pretty much on it. I like that. That's pretty good. Um, let's go up to 30 volts. And around 30 volts, that's 29.8 on the uh, other one. I'd say that's pretty much on. That's pretty close. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy. And like I said, it's uh, it still hasn't been calibrated, so that's got to be done. And that's going to do that. Let me double check some other things here, and let me turn this off first. Get this all down back like it was. There we go. Back to zero. Turn the meter off. Um, I'm thinking that's that's going to do it. I'm thinking it works pretty darn good. So, you're happy, I'm happy. We're going to call that good. I've got things to do, uh, places to go, people to see, as that were. So, I'm going to try to cut this off here. And I basically got done what I wanted to get done. I'm really surprised, I, like I said, between moving the uh, uh, negative uh, lead and that resistor capacitor, uh, I think that's uh, obviously what did the trick because it's working now. So, uh, put that back in there. All right, so you guys have a wonderful day. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. Uh, this is Christmas Eve again. So, you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see ya.